At the end of 2020, you probably heard it everywhere like I did, hopefully next year will be a better year. So there's an expectation that we will return to somewhat normal workplace conditions this year. However, last week it was, at the end of January, I heard the CEO of Telstra, Andy Penn, talk to a CEDA audience about his views on how the year is going to pan out. And he said that unfortunately, in his view, there is every chance that 2021 will be even more uncertain than 2020. And he made the point that he does not think there will be a neat glide into normal. And in fact, that means that our workplace decisions, that our ways of working decisions are extremely important in the near term while we balance these strategic considerations for the long term. And while Andy Penn believes that he's really not alone in that view, that there is a broad view of an increasing uncertainty this year, you may have been focused on employee well-being, or perhaps you've been focused on your strategy to get through this disruption. And your workplace issues and ways of working may not have been the top priority. However, that is now uh, something that we, we do need to think about because the way that things were last year will not uh, continue to drive productivity for, for you this year if you haven't got a good workplace strategy in place. So one of the, um, one of the things I'm hearing from people is that uh, there are meeting rooms that are they're overbooked because they're being booked by individuals who are taking video calls. Um, I'm hearing that my meetings can be quite difficult because of, of navigating and negotiating that hybrid work arrangement where some people are in the office and some people are uh, working from home and some people are on video, some people are in person. So what's the best approach for your organisation? And another one I'm hearing is that the office is otherwise largely empty. So it feels like a, a, a waste of resources to have all of this empty space. And it's never been more true that a, a strong workplace experience drives great workplace productivity. That is one of the key elements. So now is the time to be making these decisions about your workplace. And if you're exploring how to transform your workplace, then let's talk.